Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I'm sure and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily fix white balance of your images. For instance, most of you that shoot in JPEG and you don't have that flexibility of wanting to fix that image because when you shoot in JPEG, oftentimes there are high chances that you're not going to be able to get back the correct white balance in the image simply because every information in a JPEG file has been already embedded into the image and you have less flexibility to do changes on that image and maybe having those very many challenges if you shoot in JPEG unlike if you shoot in RAW but in other cases you may shoot an image and you have not yet corrected the white balance or set up the right white balance for your images or maybe you don't have a gray card to get the correct amount of white balance for your camera or for your images i want to show you how you can easily fix that and before you can proceed i just have a simple request i request that you hit the like button on this, on this video so that youtube can push it and recommend it to more people out there because when you hit the like button the algorithm is going to recommend this to many people out there and this is going to be saving them as the same as you who is watching this tutorial so make sure to hit the like button because this is going to be a very nice and simple and easy to understand tutorial and if at all you have any queries make sure to leave that in the comment section of this video and if at all you want to support the channel make sure to scroll through just below the title of the video and you look for that thanks option and you can donate and give thanks to a channel for the content that i always create for you guys right here on youtube so before we can see you can see the image that we have right now is for a friend of mine she's called fanta and you can see it has that kind of blue cast within it and it is more on the blue side and oftentimes when you are doing dealing with white balance we may be having issues with either a very warm image or an image that is leaning towards the blue side so in order to get away with this we're just going to do this in photoshop because some people may not be having maybe lightroom or camera roll, and this is just going to be for just photoshop so we're just going to come to the adjustments and create a new blank layer and when we create this new blank layer we are just going to come to edit and come all the way down to fill so we're just going to be filling this layer with 50% gray. So just come to fill, edit, you come to fill, and you have this window open for you. And what we want to do in this case, we're just going to come to the contents and make sure you select 50% gray. And the blending mode is going to be left at normal at an opacity of 100%. Preserve transparency is not marked or checked. So we're just going to come and we hit OK. And after doing that, you can see it has made the overall image gray in color. And don't be worried about this. Just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and look for difference. So just come and do that. And this is going to worsen the image and make it look even worse. So just want to get back the image in this case. I know you may be thinking like maybe I've messed up. No, if at all you have followed me to this very point of this tutorial, you have not yet messed up at all. So we're just going to come back to the adjustments and we come to threshold. So just come to adjustments and you come to the threshold adjustment layer. So when we create that, it is going to create uh, some kind of curves or this kind of, I should call it, it curves whatever it is i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to take it all the way towards the left hand side it's more of a histogram rather so when you take it all the way to the left hand side you can see that the image is going to turn into white remember initially it was all black in color but when you take it towards the left hand side it is going to turn into white so what we want to do in this case we just want to move this threshold slider towards the right hand side so just move it just like that and as you are moving it you're going to notice that 
the information is going to be coming back within the image so just move it a little bit more so at around 17 uh, we are good to go so what we want to do right now we just want to get our eyedropper tool so get the eyedropper tool and in order to get that you can just simply hit i on the keyboard so when you hit i it is going to get for you the eyedropper tool so click on or press i on the keyboard and that is a shortcut for your eyedropper tool and make sure the sample size is 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five. the reason for this is because we just want the eyedropper tool to be very very accurate as you're trying to select all sample from the area that we want to target in this case so I just don't get it and just come and select the darkest area in this image and that is going to be our emphasis so just click on that the darkest area so don't select on this dotted area because this may not give you the best results just click on an area that is really thick or very dark so just and in order to click just hold down the shift before you even do any clicking hold down the shift key on the keyboard and simply click on that area that you want and that is going to be a target or a target for that area and so when you hold down shift and you hover around you can see that these values are going to be changing meaning it is going to be sampling the colors in the red green and blue values around the image you can see these values keep on changing as I'm ch hovering around the whole image so hold down the shift key on the keyboard and you sample or make a point in that specific black area so just be within that black area and after doing that we're just going to release the th the shift key and we're just going to close this so right now you can come and either turn this off or you can now come and delete the threshold layer and our layer that was filled with 50% gray so what we want to do we're just going to come back to the background layer make sure you select it and come to the adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer so when we create that curves adjustment layer you can see this curves adjustment layer has uh, different points and this is for the black point this is for the brightest points or the white point and this is for the gray point or the neutrals so we have to select the eyedropper tool for the, ne the neutrals or the gray point so just come and make sure it is selected and now we have to zoom in by using ctrl com command plus on the keyboard and after doing that you can use the space bar to hover around and look for the point that we made initially as we are holding down shift so make sure you look for that point in that location or wherever you made that point in the photo and now you can just come using your eyedropper tool and just come make sure you're using the middle point right here in the curves adjustment layer just come and click right in that point just like that and when you click right in the middle you can see the image has been corrected and we have the right white balance for the image so let's see what we have for the before and the after this was our image initially before and this is what we have for correcting the white balance on the image so this is the before and after before after you can now go ahead and do other things that you want to do on the image for example if at all you feel like you want to make the image a little bit co contrast or add that kind of rich contrast to it you can just proceed and come to the contrast and add in that contrast within the photo and that is going to be best or work best for you and this is how you can easily correct white balance within Photoshop and remove that kind of color cast from your images. And if at all you have found this helpful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed or hit the like button yet, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.